Hi, this is Terry from Fabric Junction in Sturgis, South Dakota. I'm here today to show you another great little blanket for that new baby or even that one-year-old. You know, you just need to cuddle them up with something and so we came up with the Cuddle Me Blanket. It's a smaller one. It's perfect for tucking around them when they're in the car or letting them drag it around. It's made from the double gauze and cuddle fabric. And as you can see, it's not super big. It's about a 20 inch, 26 inch square. And I will show you the technique that I used. Now, double gauze, this is um, one of the smaller pieces. It's been cut in half. The double gauze actually has, and I don't know how well it'll show up on camera, but if you ever get a chance to see, it has got a little line in it, in the way they make it. And those lines represent one inch square. So whenever you buy some double gauze, make sure that you get a clerk that cuts it on that line. Otherwise, you'll end up with something that, that is very... Uh, um, off grain. You do want it to be straight. Now the next thing is that we have to understand the differences between our cuddle fabric, which is man-made, and the double gauze, which is cotton, a natural fabric. Because of that, you definitely have to launder your double gauze. And when you do, it will shrink up because this weave is fairly open. So it will shrink up. To show you the difference, these two pieces were identical. The one I'm showing you has not been laundered. Let me get to the one that I did launder because I didn't want to get them mixed up. This is the one that has been laundered. And if I take the salvage edge, the salvaged edge, lay it out, you can see that not quite as much side to side, you lost about an inch going side by side on this particular one, but I lost almost three inches going the other way. So this has been laundered, and I did press it slightly after I laundered it so I could get these edges to lay down like I wanted instead of staying all scrumpled up, but I didn't want to press all of this wonderful texture that's in the middle. I didn't want to press it out because when I launder it again, this is going to want to shrink back up. If I had pressed it flat like this, this way it's not going to really shift. Because the other side is the man-made fabric, the cuddle, which is wonderful, doesn't shrink. So. To make my blanket, I took a 30 inch square, I squared up my cuddle. So once I had it square, the next thing I did is I marked a line, and this time it's not my favorite thing to mark with, but it's not going to show. You can't see it on this side, and when we're done, no one's going to know it's there. I actually used a pen, a ballpoint pen, because of that ballpoint, it tends to leave a line better than some of the other tools that I've used. But you can use, you know, whatever you like. You don't have to get clear to the edge, but I want you to mark a square in the middle of your cuddle. And in this case, put your straight edge three and a half inches and mark. Okay, So once you have it marked all the way around, all four sides, laid out nice and flat, I'll move a few of my things here so I can get it laid out nice. Because I do like there to lay flat. Now, my laundered piece of double gauze hopefully should be a little bit bigger than my, there we go, yeah, because my goal is to cover my line, and if it covers it a lot, that's okay, if it, it a little bit, 
mm, kind of iffy, but lay it down so that your line is hidden. Because we only need that as a point of reference for two things. To get our double gauze in the center and to make sure the double gauze is big enough all the way around to do the last step. So once I have it laid out there and I've got my line covered and I, you're going to think, oh, it's not going to be square. It will. It'll still be square. But I want to get pins all the way around it. And as you can see, I pin with the head to the inside, the pin to the outside, not right close to the edge, so that the pin is kind of out of my way. Now, for time reasons, I won't be sewing all the way around this, but I will show you how to sew it. Move a few of my things around, because I don't need them, but I do need a ruler. So, the goal here is to fold my cuddle over two inches. And if it helps you, go ahead, because if you think, this is the math that we're going to do. We, we made our line at three and a half. We made sure our double gauze went over the line. And if we bring two inches in, the line should be about there. We're going to cover it up and sew about here. So what you can do next is use your ruler, your tape, whatever works for you, and slip just a pin here and there. And if you want, I would mark one side at a time because I tend to not like having tons of pins. Seems like whenever I have a lot of pins in something, I end up sticking me more than anything else. So I'm not a big person for gobs and gobs of pins. I've got one side pinned. And I need to show you how I'm going to turn my corner. Got to adjust that just a little because it shifted on me. Okay, you have it folded like this. Fold it. Ay, 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 ay. I was going to say, oh, too much, too much. I folded it too much because part of that is going to go this way. There we go. So fold it down. Not, not quite to the end. You know, you don't want to fold it clear down because that's what I did. This is way too much. You want to kind of stay lined up with your two inches here. Then you take this move it over double check that you're at two inches and then you can kind of adjust it just a little bit to make your corner now what I did and whoops got a few layers there what I did when I was sewing this I would set up one side, see if I can find my zigzag, that one will probably do it. So what I did is I used a zigzag. Now as you can see, I did not turn my cuddle over because cuddle doesn't fray. The stuff that comes off of it is all that little fiber that you cut that, that is the um, the little hair hairs I'm lo lost for words kind of because of the nap it's got all those little tiny hairs on it and when you cut it that's what flies all over the place once it's cut and laundered or shaken real well there is no fraying like with cotton so you can't grab this and just start coming apart okay 
because of that reason and to cut down on the bulk, I just fold it over and I, d I like using a zigzag. So when I sew this, I set it up for a zigzag. I would have started further up is what I would have done. Okay, that one is really, really small. Okay. This one here. I'm going to have to live with it, it looks like. I can't see much. That's okay. So I'm right on the edge. Hopefully I'm catching. Yeah, it looks like I am. What I want you to do is sew down the side, have your one section already pinned, and when you get to that section, give it a turn and sew off the edge. Go ahead and sew. There she goes. That'll secure that corner. When I get close to the end, I can do a couple back stitches. I don't have to be right on the back. And then I can go forward and sew off the edge. And I have that section done. And now I'll go down and I'll pin this. I can pull, whoop, can't pull that one because it's not sewn, but this one I can pull. So then I will set up my next side. I measure my two inches go down and again I turn my corner again so because you'll be like this I'll kind of show one more time because I know you'll get it fold it and then fold it again so that this lines up and it looks like you did a beautiful miter double check your measurement oh, I'm a little bit tall so come back just a hair there we go Pin it in place, start sewing at the top, make your way to the bottom, and come off the edge. Do it all the way around, and when you're done, you'll have this beautiful little cuddle me blanket for that precious little one in your family. Do check out our kits online. We do have several of them. If you buy the regular yardage, you'll get two kits out of the yardage, or you can buy the kit from us, and we have it packaged to make one cute little cuddle me. So check out our website at junctionfabric.com and thank you again for watching.